Hi my friends, in today's video we will produce the patterns for the carving of a dolphin. Hi my friends, how are you? I hope everybody is fine. In today's video we are going to start a series in which we are going to carve a dolphin. In the first video we are going to research material to make the patterns so that we can then proceed to the second video to use those patterns to use the bandsaw to cut the blank that in the third video is going to become the dolphin by carving it. So in today's video we are going to initiate the process. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get to work. In the browser search I will look for dolphin side views and I will enter into the images page to locate one that I like. Then I will use a program called Snipping Tool for cutting and copying the desired view. Now I will do the same but this time with views from the top. All these images I will save in a folder for future use. I will get in PowerPoint and I will prepare a page to bring into it the images I just saved. Using the curve drawing tool of PowerPoint, I will be marking points around the image to delineate a silhouette of the dolphin. And after touching up some of the points, I can eliminate the picture that now is in the background. Then I will bring to the page the dolphin top view and I will rotate it and change its size and position so that the tip of the nose of the silhouette and the tip of the nose of the picture will be in the same vertical line and the tip of the dorsal fin in the silhouette will also be in the same vertical position as the one in the picture. Although in the lateral view the shape of the tail can be seen, I am going to modify slightly that silhouette so the tail will appear as seen from the edge. This will make the carving a little easier. Also, I will work in making the dorsal and pectoral fins to match the position and shape with the ones seen from the top. With the view from the side pretty advanced, I now proceed to form the silhouette as seen from the top. Both in the views from the side and the top, I will include some details, like the nose of the dolphin, the position of the dorsal fin in the view from the top, the shape of the melon, etc. Always using as a reference the pictures. I leave only the silhouette lines, but I eliminate the fill within the shapes. I search for and I cut images of the dolphin seen from the front, from behind, in a three-quarter position, all as reference for the silhouettes and later for the carving. I went back to my drawing classes during the high school and I recall that having two views of a solid object, you can get a third view from another position using orthogonal projections. Now I will be shaping rectangles around the silhouettes to have an idea of the size of the blank I need for the carving. I fill in the rectangles in black so there is a better contrast. I have copied the three views in another PowerPoint slide to work now in the views from the other side from below and from behind. I get the mirror image from the side to get the one for the other side. From there, I remove some details from the front view and I modify the fins to get the view from behind. The same way, I get the mirror image uh, from the top 
and correct a couple of details to get the view from below. I place arrows and measures as well as reference labels to mark which view is which. Here you can see the views from the top, from the left and from the front with a detail of the tail. Here you can see the views from the bottom, from the right and from behind. And in this last page I have made blanks in case one wanted to do the carving with the water as well. Ok my friends, so we have printed the patterns, I have them ready to cut and apply to the piece of wood that we are going to use for the carving. That will be in the second video of this uh, series. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, don't forget to mark the like button below, make comments, and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. There will appear the button to facilitate the subscription. And it will be until the next one. Cheers!